Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the word audio devotional. Today's topic is the prayer life of Jesus and our anchor scripture is taken from the book of Hebrews chapter 5 and verse 7. Who in the days of his flesh, when he had offered up prayers and supplications with vehement cries and tears to him who was able to save him from death and was heard because of his godly fear. If you have listened to this devotional for a while, you will realize that I take prayer really seriously. I believe that the health of a believer's spiritual life can be assessed accurately by looking at their understanding and practice of a biblical prayer culture, amongst other things. Today, I want us to meditate on prayer by looking at the life of Jesus. The Bible tells us that Jesus is our example. The Bible says in our anchor scripture, in the days of Jesus' flesh, in other words, during his life here on earth, Jesus offered up prayer and supplication with cries and tears to the one who was able to save him from death. Now, why is this profound? I'll tell you. Jesus didn't come to the earth confused as to his purpose. He knew what he had come to do. In fact, the Bible tells us that Jesus, the Lamb of God, was slain from the foundations of the world. In other words, what Jesus had come to do on earth was already prophetically settled in the realm of the Spirit. This fact that Jesus' death was settled already was known to Jesus while he was on the earth. If you read the Gospels, you will see Jesus telling his disciples over and over again that he was going to die and rise again from the dead. He started saying it very early on in his ministry. Yet, this same Jesus who knew that his prophetic destiny was settled still offered up prayers to God. Not heartless, rehearsed, wrote, learned prayers. The Bible qualifies the prayers passionate, fervent prayers that were offered up with great cries and tears. Jesus, God made flesh, while on earth, engaged in passionate, fervent prayers concerning his already settled destiny. Remind me, what is your own excuse for not praying? Allow me to say categorically that without prayer, it is unlikely that you will attain to your God-ordained destiny. I pray that soon God will allow us to do a series on the prayer life of Jesus. You will see a man who has a habit spent entire night up on mountains praying. What was he telling God? Why did he have to stay that long? What was he working out? I don't know about you, but with Jesus' kind of result, I will pay attention to his process. Jesus did many things, but one thing the Bible records over and over again is his consistent and diligent prayer habits. Today I'm calling you to do a check. Is your prayer culture healthy or is your altar dusty? Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for your word. Lord, today I pray for every single one of us listening for fresh fire on our prayer altars. Continue to take all the glory, almighty God, in Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you were blessed, please drop me a line on audio devotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. You could also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at 3 Minutes Audio Devotional. Remember, wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.